So to hunt for an inter-terrorist, we have tried searching on one of the most popular portals in Singapore and we realised that it is now almost impossible to buy and own a freehold landed property in District 19 that is below $2.5 million. Alright, so this is the one fully renovated just four years back, freehold inter-terrorist status at Paliba Gardens, District 19. We're going to check this out. Just follow me. The gate has been re-renovated and revamped just four years back. Uh, I purposely drove in my car just to show you that it can fit in one car. This is a seven-seater, so the length is just right. This area too allows you to build a mini garden right here so your kids can play over here as well. And you still have a sizable area for uh, some outdoor furniture if you want to put in just a small coffee table with two chairs or probably just a nice round table with four seater for outdoor dining. Coming into the home, this is the main entrance of the house itself and uh, not forgetting the owner has actually done up bifold doors right along this side and across the other entrance as well. So if you have guests coming over the weekends, you can actually just open up this entire bifold door that allows you to stretch all the way to the corner and then that gives you a lot more space because you can put probably your buffet tables right outside and then your guests can have more room to move around. Coming in, you have space for a seated area that allows you to keep all your shoes right at the bottom and then right at the top itself there's some storage space available on this side of the home there are also carpentry space for your shoes as well if you want to make this into a small mini reading zone you can put up probably a bookshelf right on this wall and then put in some nice uh, little couches or bean bags or maybe put in a huge armchair right at this corner. So moving to the hall itself, you'll notice that along the entire walls of level 1 is already renovated and designed with a modern kind of English Victorian feel and that really gives you a spacious kind of feel because the main colour theme is in white. It's also very easy for you to match different types of furniture throughout different seasons. Now the flooring has been done with marble flooring. You can re-varnish it again based on how shiny you want it to look like. The living room space is great. You can fit in a nice three-seater couch here. The width and distance to the TV console space is also well thought after. The brightness comes right from the front. This is generally towards the north direction. Over here, what the owners has done is that they have pumped in this nice high waist island top. It acts as an intermission between the living room and the kitchen, giving you this space that gives you flexibility. So if you want to work from home, you just come here, tap on the laptop a little bit, sit on the high chair, or you can have breakfast here with your family and you can fit up to six high chairs right here. So you can use this also as a dining space. There are loads of storage space right here. This is a very deep storage space. Just check out how much storage you have right in the dining area itself. This is the under stairway storage space that is very, very important because this is the space that you can put in all your ladders, your fans, your vacuum cleaners, your luggages. You can all tuck in nicely right at this corner. And uh, I want to show you this space as well. Uh, probably you want to have a look at this. You have even more storage right below the island. Alright, so let's now take a look at what are some of my choices if I have $2.5 million as my next new home budget and if I'm looking at District 19 and I want to buy a landed property which is freehold in status. There are some landed properties which is around the $2.5 million asking price mark but these are usually the properties that will need a lot of renovation either internally which they will then set me back by another two to $300,000 for a full spectrum of renovation on the interior of the house or it might then need an a and a or even a rebuild. Another alternative will be to go for cluster strata properties which will be around the $1.8 million to $2.5 million range. 
A third choice would then be for me to go for 99 years pure landed properties. And this kind of properties which are in the District 19 zone, they are good properties. The only thing is of course, you have to be good with the 99 year status. And averagely, they have a balance lease of about 75 years left. And they are usually now in the range of about $1.6 million to $2 million mark. But if I'm looking for a pure freehold landed property right now, then probably these are the few areas that I can look at. So the first area will be the Macpherson Landed Estate. Now this estate has smaller landed plot size and probably I can get something at less than $2.5 million. Another area will then be the Upper Thompson Estate as well. And that estate also has smaller plots of landed properties which will be possible for me to look at. Another zone will be this zone in Palibar Gardens in District 19 and we are right now in Jalan Usaha. Usually when people look for inter-terraces, they will get to see that the usual land size is between 1,006 to about 1,800 square feet of land size and usually it's about two and a half storey to three and a half storey. And so for that kind of size for your inter-terraces, usually right now you need to have at least $3 million for the price of the house and the land itself and that excludes any other form of renovation or a and costing. To get something below two and a half million dollars, you probably might have to look for land plots which is of a smaller land size and these land size are usually between about 1,002 plus to 1,300 square feet for the land itself. Alright, and this house that we are standing in right now has a land size of 1278 square feet. It's freehold in status in District 19. And let me give you a little bit more specifics before we show you the rest of the place. Now, the estimated build up for this two story inter terrace is approximately about 1,600 square feet. There are two bedrooms on level two. Level two gives you two bed with one ensuite, and level one gives you one bedroom with a common bathroom. Fully renovated just four years ago, giving you this modern Victoria style. Now, if you were to ask me, you have kids at home and you want to find a place to put in your piano or your digital piano, this is going to be one space if you have a mini sized piano right here, the plug is already done. And then the suggestion is along this wall. But this space right here is very suitable if you really want to put in an additional dining set. You can put in tuck against the wall. You can put in a six-seater right here. If you think that the island space is not something that you want to have formal dining on, you have another option right here. As you head down, we love the fact that there's a step down portion towards the kitchen because that means that you can do washing right here in the entire kitchen area. So before heating towards the kitchen, this is your bathroom on level one. Level one bathroom has already been fully renovated. The team is a darker, rustic, modern look and this is very easy for you to maintain because they are all darker tiles. Easy for you to wash and clean. It feels like modern kind of resort the lighting is great coming from the back of the mirror. Standing shower space is already done. If you do heavy cooking, you can close up and then you can come in as well. We love the fact that the see-through glass is done and uh, you have a nice deep sink located right here. Bosch system is what has been installed for the cooking hob and the hood has already been done. There is a built-in Bosch microwave right at this corner. Carpentry for the kitchen is already completed so you have a lot of storage space right here. And these are all in great condition. This is your fridge space and following here, this is like your mini yard area which then gives you your back door and there is like a dual door, there's a metal gate. So coming here, this is where you put in your washer come dryer and this is the room on level one. Now this room can be converted into the third bedroom. This side of the wall, you can open up a window or you can alternatively open up a window on this side of the wall as well to face the dining area. So you can use this as your ground floor guest room or you can use this as your granny room Alternatively, if you don't need a room on level 1, then use this as your full-size utility room or your storage room and keep whatever you need in this room on level 1 itself. Before we head upstairs, let us talk a little bit about the location first so that you know 
exactly what are all the amenities right here. Now this area is very popular with families who have kids studying in Mary Stella Junior and High School as well as the Paliba Primary and Secondary School. Now both of these two schools are very well sought after schools here for families with children in the primary and secondary school going age. Now driving is a breeze, you have tons of road options, you can also reach city area via Upper Serangoon Road or Upper Paliba Road. Now importantly, your kids can take a bus to reach Serangoon next and MRT station is right there. You also have Kensington Square which is a mini mall right beside Jalan Usaha. There is a supermarket in that building as well. Food options are right opposite as some of the shop houses but most importantly, you are very near to Serangoon next and that is where all the F&B options are. Alright, so coming up to the second floor landing, the flooring now has been changed to nice long timber strip parquet. These are nicely maintained. You also have this set of windows as mentioned that brings in brightness into the stairway. So let's have a look at the common room first. Now the common room is longish in shape. Right now it's fitted with a single bed and the built-in wardrobe is already done. So this is a tall wardrobe space with some pull-out drawers right at the bottom. Also, the team is cohesive. It is also done with a Victorian modern style. Now even the doors are all done with the modern Victoria team. So coming here, you still have a lot of walking space right here for your kids. Now this will be very suitable for a kids room. You can put in a bunk bed at this corner. Alternatively, if you want to have a queen bed, you can put in a customized queen bed right at this corner. You can still put in like a small little study table here or here with your wardrobe intact. But the highlight is definitely the master room. Let's go. The master room suite is really great in size. And for people with a lot of clothes, this is definitely a breeze for you because you have six panels of wardrobe space right here. Over there, you still have another three panels of wardrobe space. Condition is great. Oh, there's still a mirror inside. Also have another three. Whoa, look at this. It's done. So you have like ties and belts and all that. You can put it here. This is a king bait. Uh, two side tables at the side. This is fronting towards the front of your house. You have four huge window panels right here. The room size of the master suite is really great. And importantly, you have this hotel style ensuite, a nice bathtub space right here with a full size vanity top, nice size mirror. And we love this detailed towels at the back. You still have standing shower options with a nice overhead rain shower as well. And for the fact that this bathroom has been very well renovated since four years ago, you also do not have to spend additional money to renovate the bathrooms. Piping has all been changed, small little details like plugs over here so you can put in your shavers and stuff like that. These are all great. All right, so this home is very suitable if you're looking for a build-up area of 1,600 square feet, you're looking for a landed property, and your home price budget is below two and a half million dollars. And if you're looking for the potential of owning a freehold land because you get to own the land, which is 1278 square feet, freehold tunnel, and you also get to own the building as well. All right, so coming back here, I hope that you have enjoyed this landed inter-terrace freehold status along Jalan Usaha right here at the Paliba Gardens Landed and Cliff in District 19. If you want to have a look at the physical place, click on the link right down below. Give a call to our listings manager. Check out our Instagram stories and then you'll be able to notify yourself on the upcoming open house sessions on this landed property itself. Don't forget if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, click on the bell button to receive notification and of course click on the subscribe button to keep yourself notified of our next upcoming home tour. So my name is Melvin Lim once again, Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show the place. See you soon. Done. Wow, with a tinted mirror. Can you see me? Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha